Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. If you want to do a last minute card, use a cute little penguin duo to try. We're going to start off with our penguins and doing some lovely dark paints. I've got my black here and I'm just mixing that up. Dipped into my brown, that's okay. Just a nice dark paint will do. And we're going to start with some basic shapes, all right? It's a lot easier to do the composition that you're wanting to do because everything just feels a little bit easier if you're thinking circle versus penguin head. You know, penguin head sounds a little bit harder. We're leaving some white space for where his eye is gonna go. And then we're gonna take that black and just make that oval shape, which is gonna be his body. And you can just spread that out there. I'm gonna take off some of the paint, dab my brush, and we're gonna just sketch out this little shape right there. And then we'll add in here, he's gonna have his arm is gonna come out that way. And all this is gonna be dark. And this will get a little bit lighter. And then we'll go ahead and do a second layer and differentiate, you know, where um, his little, his little uh, fin is. Okay, and so I'm just going to take my wet brush. It's a little bit clean, it's a little bit gray. And just kind of um, blend out this color. All right, and then we'll add some more details as we go. So now we're gonna do the other penguin. And the same circle shape here. Circle for the head. And then we're gonna go back this way to do that oval shape right there. And then the fin kind of comes out that way. And we'll just color all that in. So we're doing the opposite here. Two little penguins. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. These little penguins are in love. They're doing their little thing. And they're just hanging out on this romantic day. All right, it looks kind of funny right now with those like the weird circles, but I promise it'll make sense. If you have too much paint, just dab your brush on a towel and then lift up some color. I can do that right here. Just absorb some of that color and it'll be okay. And here I'm gonna take off some paint. So they have those white bellies, but I wanted to just add in a little bit of color with that gray, allowing it to spread out. If you don't like how much is happening, lift some color. Lift and as it gets drier, that color won't continue to spread. Just like so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my black and we're just gonna poke a little eye in there. Little eye shape, if you can. All right, a little bit more of that dark paint. Just a little circle in there for his eye. When you leave that white space, then you can do that eye, no problem. This one is still bleeding. Still take a clean brush, dab it and keep lifting. And it's okay though, it can be grayish too, but we can always lift later when it's dry. We'll do something called scrubbing and it's just how it goes sometimes. You get paint that just kind of does what it wants to do. All right, um, at this point, we're gonna let this dry and we'll come right back to it. Now we're going to use our orange. We're gonna make some of those little cute orange details. So we're gonna do the little feet right here, little feet sticking out from under those big bellies. And then we're gonna do beaks and they're just gonna be a little bit silly because they're gonna be extra long. because I want the beaks to meet in the middle like they're kissing. A little bit of a kiss. Just like so. Because it's a romantic day and they're in love. <laughs> they have really big beaks. Alrighty. So now so we're gonna do a little bit of a heart because I wanted to make some romanticness happening. So they're gonna be holding, or one of them will be holding, maybe both of them a heart-shaped balloon. So I've got a lot of watery mix of pink here, and we're just going to go ahead and make that shape of a heart right there. And do the best you can. It can be really hard to do heart shapes in general. And then if you're trying to do it with a paintbrush, pretty challenging. So I'm just gonna take some clean water and use that to fill in this heart shape here. Well, where did penguins get the balloon? I don't know. 
And then we're going to do our little string. So we're just gonna do this little stringy thing right here. That's just gonna go in between the two of them. And not touching on the beak because yeah, it's pretty wet still. Adding in some saturated pink here on part of the balloon, just letting that spread in that wet and wet technique style. Maybe lifting some paint here. And we're gonna do a few more hearts too. We're gonna do some snow. Now, one of the easiest ways to do a heart is to do like a little M shape and then fill it in right there. A little M and then fill in your heart. And at least with paintbrushes, it can be hard to do it this way because you don't always have a lot of control with your paintbrush. So that's a way to try it if you want. You can fill those in. But these guys are just having such a great time. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And also subscribe to my channel. And also make sure that you hit the notification button so you know when I receive that little bell, so you know when I upload videos in the future. And when I go live and all of the things. And that way you won't miss out on any of the fun. All right, and then also leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite thing to do on Valentine's Day or do you not like Valentine's Day? What are your thoughts about all the things? I'm curious to know. So I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of bluish purple color. Maybe we'll just do it on this side because I wanna emulate this idea of snow. They're sitting on snow. So you're just gonna kinda add in some marks here. Let your brush run out of paint. Just kinda spread it over here as well. And you know, they are in a cold place. There's gonna be snow around. So we're just gonna add in some of those fun marks right now. A little bit more. And then you can just blend it with a clean brush if you wanna blend it out or leave the harsh lines. It's all good, whatever you're feeling like doing today. Okay, so this guy and this guy, this lady, this guy, these guys are having a good time. I wanna add a little bit of words or maybe just one word to this. We're gonna let it dry, I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna take my, let's see, my red paint, my saturated red paint. I'm gonna use that for writing. And I just wanna write the word love on our balloon here. So let's go ahead and do that. L-O-V-E. I keep thinking I need to take up some hand lettering so I can really figure out how people do these things. Hand lettering would be fun. Uh, there's so many beautiful ways to write all the things. I just sort of do a regular handwriting as I would when I'm writing a letter, which I do very infrequently, right? We don't do that so much anymore. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this painting so far. I always like to check in with you to see how you're feeling. If you are feeling at any point, some body tension, you know, your shoulders start to go up super high because you're feeling anxious about your painting, just take a step back, make sure to take a deep breath and just focus on the fact that you are practicing and having fun. I always like to mention that because Sometimes we'll find we're painting and then all of a sudden our shoulders are all the way up to our neck and we're just, just entranced in all this tension and it's taking away from that lovely experience that we're supposed to be having. So give yourself a break. Remind yourself this is a fun activity. Hopefully it is. If you want to make something like this today, you know, for that last minute, let's see if I can do some eyelashes. Um, last minute Valentine's Day card go for it super simple and fun if you have a kiddo that would like to do something like this you know definitely do it together i'm just going to outline the beak a little bit and you know they're just kind of funny little penguins here today um, just funny and cute and just in love with valentines and each other and all the things guys so we're going to do lastly a little bit of splatter and we're just going to load up our brush with this red color and then spritz it all around and then our Valentine is done. Guys, I wanna remind you that I am on Patreon. The link is in my bio or in my description of the video. If you guys want to, for $2.50 a month or more, depending on the benefits you want, um, you can subscribe for exclusive tutorials. There's other benefits like self-care, uh, worksheets that I do with art and art prints, also multiple exclusive tutorials and all kinds of other things. So check that out if you'd like to explore more watercolor with me. So there we go, guys. Happy Valentine's to you. If you don't like Valentine's, no worries. You don't have to be a fan. 
you could still paint the penguins and still have a great day. All right, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.